Secretary of State Burns lands at Washington, just returned from the Paris Peace Conference, accompanied by Mrs. Burns. Decisions reached at the parleys will next be discussed at the November meeting of the Big Four in New York. Meanwhile, President Truman gets a first-hand report and congratulates the Secretary, who talks about peace based on his Paris experience. In recent weeks, much has been said about the quarrels and divisions in the Paris Peace Conference. Those differences cannot be dispelled or reconciled by a gloss of polite words. And in a democratic world, those differences cannot and should not be kept from the people's concern. In a democratic world, statesmen must share their trials as well as their triumphs with the people. It is better that the world should witness and learn to appraise clashes of ideas rather than clashes of arms. If this peace is to be a lasting peace, it must be a people's peace. The peoples of this world who long for peace will not be able to make their influence felt if they do not know the conflict in ideas and in interest that give rise to war and if they do not know how the statesmen and the people of those countries view these conflicts. <laughs>